happy Tuesday, you guys. So, Tuesdays are ruled by Mars, Martian days. So, a great day to move, to do something different if it's needing with all of these Pluto, Plutonian influences that we've been having over this course of time. Um, if there's something that has been needing to be initiated, it's a great time to do that, especially in regards to your self-expression, connecting with your inner child, right? Because Mars is in Leo, right? So this is all about where do you rule in your life? And are you taking action in regards to that? Are you moving forward in that? Are you showing up in that, right? Are you expressing yourself and passionate about that? Do you feel passionately about yourself? <laughs> okay. Um, and we are bringing in with us the spiritual influence of ourselves, right? So kind of uh, getting out of a space of, of being in two minds of our own being, you know, and, and coming to balance of who it is that we are really integrating um, the healing of the subconscious energies, the unconscious energies that we have been moving through, if we've been moving through them. If not, then some things may be coming up where we feel like we need to uh, express ourselves one way in this area and express ourselves one way with this area, right? Instead of being confident, Leo, courageous and brave and showing up in our fullness, in our, yes, our soul's expression, you know, it is still in close conjunction with Venus. So we're still feeling those energies, feeling, you know, very loving, valuing um, our joy, our happiness, our fulfillment, right? Even our children, you know, and connecting with them as well. And yeah, so the moon is now in Sagittarius. Um, so we are very focused on our journey, our paths, our beliefs. The moon later on, well, more so tomorrow, will be in a trine to this Marsh, Martian energy that is in Leo. So um, we may be feeling like we want to do everything right now, right? Get it done right now. We need to get to the finish line right now, all right? But in reality, it's like we got to take our time. It's in the sextile to Saturn, you know? So Saturn wants us to see the full picture, see the full scope, the full spectrum so that we can um, pilot on in an effective and efficient way, something that is going to be long lasting, all right? Because it's an Aquarius and Aquarius is of our long-term goals, all right? This is of uh, large gains through, um, through, through means of income. Right, so how, how, what will it take? What work needs to be done in order to make that happen? What, where do we need to see ourselves at in order to make that happen? What, are we on our path? Are we in alignment with our truth? Are we in alignment with our faith that is supporting us in moving forward? Are we in alignment with our sovereignty? Right, that, that, that's a lot about that Mars and Neptune in conjunction as well. These energies are really playing well together. Like, are you willing to express yourself from your soul being? And it is safe for you to be you, right? This is, is like where we are learning this, coming to a new understanding, higher perspective of things, you know, and uh, seeing it all a little bit clearer. Um, yesterday, when I did the weekly, the card for today was the Ace of, of, of Swords. So very clear perception on um, on ourselves, on the truth, on what's a real, okay, on understanding, right? And with um, with this being a Saturn connection aspect it's like on an on practicality on materialization right so are they in alignment what do you need to see because if Sagittarius and Aquarius being in, in connection together that's a very that that's like god mind energy right it is universal truth and nothing but the truth right so it's also in a in conjunction with Mercury that is still in Cancer. So we are needing to take this psychic mind, following our intuition, having an understanding of the emotional nature that is supporting us in 
either not being where we are and what needs to change in that or what is serving us, what is supporting us, you know, um, and what will continue to help us move forward toward destiny. Venus, Venus, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini. Gemini has the North Node there, right? And this is all about movement. This is about understanding, right? What stories are you telling yourself? Are you are you recognizing that you are writing the story that nothing outside of you dictates your story, right? Unless you're allowed to, right? So let's see what messages do we have today? Oh, in the moon is in the opposition to the North Node in Gemini as well. Okay, so we are coming into balance to to what is real for us, what is true for us. Do we need to learn something new? Do we need to up-level what it is that we already know? What do you think you know versus what it is that you need to know? Or do you need to come to some resolution and understanding about where it is that you're going, right? And how it is that you need to show up and going that what actions do you need to take? What steps are you going to have to make, you know? Um, and it's also in a trying to Chiron, which is now in retrograde. Okay, so <clears throat> this is, we are, <laughs> you sharing, Bashar is watching Alien TV, you guys. So. Yeah, I Alien TV, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, um, the moon is also in a, a benevolent aspect to Chiron, which is in retrograde. So we may be easily moving beyond um, wounds, right? Any hurts, any shaming, embarrassment, guilt, however, you know, um, or clearly seeing the truth of that, right? In whatever, by whatever means, especially if it's someone that we felt like we hurt or if we felt like other people hurt us or not necessarily hurt, but um, extended some type of wounding towards us, right? Because when Chiron being in retrograde, it's more of an internal thing. These wounds aren't so out there. They're more um, allow us, to, it allows us room and space to really be able to push through and move through and see the truth, Sagittarius, of what's real, right? And what the truth may really be is that has not been what it is that you've been perceiving up until all this time, you know? So, you know, we are integrating a new self, a sense of self-worth right now, okay? Embodying that fully, not allowing anything external to dictate that, <clears throat> right? And being very grounded and sure in that so that we may um, make our reality how we see fit, okay? So let's see what card we have for today, we have Sisterhood of the Rose. So I like to see this card as having people around us who support us, who really um, have a lot of unconditional love for us, uh, surrounding us and um, uplifting us. But this is also about beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. So we may be connecting with teachers today. We may be tapping into some aspect or sense of mysticism today as well. Um, Maybe getting into our priestess, high priestess energy, okay? Really connecting with that intuition, with that inner wisdom, that inner sacred wisdom, you know? And um, also, what else is here? Being devoted to that, being devoted to ourselves, what it is that we need, seeing the beauty in our world, seeing the beauty of ourselves, right? It, it, this is Chiron trying the moon, Chiron in retrograde trying to move, right? Seeing things very clearly, the truth of the matter. Okay, so let's see. And at the bottom, we have the tr we have trust the niggle. So whatever it is that you are feeling, experiencing, um, know that it's real. Know it's true. That that is something you're on the money. Um, follow that do what it is that you need to do with that however it is that that may be manifesting for you you know and yeah let's see um what else is here spirit mm. yeah so we may be um 
Mm. So with the sisterhood of the rose and that speaking of priestess mystic energy and this trust the nigga car, our intuition is very, very strong today. All right, very strong. We are seeing, um, we, we, we just know. We know, you know, and um, it's important that we allow that to guide us forward on our path, on, on the journey it is that we're taking. We have fire on the hearth here. All right, so this is a whatever it is that we are feeling um, that is being presented to us, whatever it is that we're choosing to be devoted to, we are either harvesting that today, harvesting something of this, or just continuing to work and till to the land, nurture the seeds that is that we have planted, that we have sown. You know, this is also, this is also justice card energy, 11. Um, and 11 is also Aquarius, right? So this is about your autonomy, being free within yourself, right? Um, this may be something of the community as well, something you may have to offer the community, right? Something it is that you are, maybe you're teaching something in the community, or maybe you're connecting with a community where you're learning something, being able to tap more into that inner priest energy, priest, priestess energy, right? Connecting you more and to help you see the beauty that lies around you and within your life, within your world, right? This is also speaking about some good fortune coming to us as well, right? So my teachers, my readers, my mystics, you know, those of you who are fully devoted into what it is that you do, your work, okay, a great harvest is coming because even at the bottom, we have the scythe. And the scythe, the scythe can speak about uh, disappointments, um, but it, this for me is speaking about gathering the harvest, right? Because sites are used to cut the wheat, you know, collect it. it it's time to eat, type of thing. It's a that's a ten of pentacles, and it's an eight, which is Leo energy. It's also Scorpio energy. All right, so I just do is showing up today in some form, may not necessarily be finances, right? Because sometimes we have to get out of that space of thinking fortune and manifestation is always materialization. And sometimes it, it can be a very inside thing, you guys. So yes, I hope that this is helpful for you guys today. I hope this blesses you. If you are in need of a personal reading, you can sign up in the link below. And if you are uh, needing a donation-based reading, there are still two of those left available for this month of July. And yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow. Oh yeah, reach out to me <laughs> for that. All right, bye.